I am so tired right now. Whew. Hey guys, my name is Candice and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so excited to be back. First off, thank you guys so much for showing me love on my new videos. I ain't gonna lie guys, like I just feel this new burst of energy and I just feel like I just, I'm just uploading, I'm not overthinking, I'm just editing and uploading whatever I film, whatever I want to show. Now guys, before we get into this video, if you haven't already, I'm gonna need you to click the subscribe button down below and the thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing. Now guys, for today's vlog, I'm kind of just doing a chill, chill day at home. Um, I am popping out in a minute because I have been seeing nothing but Wingstop on my For You page and it just has my mouth salvating and I just feel like I need Wingstop in my life. Now, as you guys know, I'm trying to snatch it back. I've got a holiday coming up, so we're not going to Wingstop. I am Wingstop today. So I've decided to kind of write down a few ingredients and I'm going to try my best to kind of mimic the one, the recipes that I saw that was making me kind of salvate at the mouth. Now, I've never had Wingstop, so I can't compare it to Wingstop, but I can tell you if it's good or not. So, I'm in the car. I had to just chuck on this jumper because I'm not even kidding, guys. It is so freaking cold. I was just like, oh no, the cardigan and vest top was just not working. I was having a massive clear out, so I got rid of a lot of my clothes. So, I literally got some of the seasonings. I couldn't get the lemon pepper fry mix so it looks like i'm gonna have to create my own but yeah i just thought i would update you so what i have done guys is i've just cut my chicken wings in half so just down the middle i've just separated uh the wing into legs and flaps now i have washed this with white vinegar and rinsed it and um, I'm just patting it dry with some kitchen towel. I've already done it. Just to take some of the moisture out. And then I'm going to season it. These are the seasonings that I'm going to be using. And basically what I'm going to do is I am going to do original chicken for my daughter. And then I'm going to use this original fry mix. But I'm going to actually grate a lemon zest and make my own lemon pepper. I'm um, still frying, but I just wanted to show you, I had fried some, um, the wings seasoned, and I just tossed it in a bowl of barbecue sauce, and then now I'm doing the original, and then I'm going to do fried barbecue rather than lemon pepper, I don't know, it just, it just took me, so. Guys, I couldn't video me eating because I was going in, I don't even eat chicken to the bone. I cleaned it. Today I'm running some errands and I thought I'd take you along with me. It is half 12 and I don't know what it is about this morning, but I just can't wake up. It's such a lovely day. I was like, no, nah, I have to go out today. I can't. But I was just like, do you know what? Every morning I have a coffee and I just go to Costa Express because I just couldn't be bothered to clean my coffee machine. But today I was like, no, nah, we need to go to the proper Costa because... Costa Express just has not been waking me up like a normal Costa has. So yeah, we're going to start out by getting coffee and then proceed with the vlog. Oh yeah, can I get a large caramel latte please? A large caramel latte. Can I ask for not a lot of foam? Just more with you. And then can I also ask um, for, an, and then can I just add cream? With cream on top? Yes, please. Yep, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. I've got the goods and I am pumped. I don't know what it is about coffee, but coffee just, it just wakes you up like no other. Um, I need to get some filters for my coffee machine and I need to give it a clean tonight because I'm buying coffee when I really don't have to. Guys, I need to catch up because I have been filming and... I, I don't want it to be all over the place. But I decided to do a small order with um, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo and Yours. And my Boohoo's come yesterday. I think my Yours is supposed to come today and my Pretty Little Thing. So once that comes, I'll do you guys a little haul and a little try on. Um, I really didn't get a lot. I just got a few t-shirts and a few bottoms. Just because with what I have, I can make that work until I'm ready to really buy a full wardrobe i'm in the car i'm heading to lakeside because i'm going to pick up my new glasses 
um, I was supposed to go after school, but I was like, look, I was only going to go after school because my daughter needed to come with us because she's got glasses to collect. But I was like, look, the last time we were there, it distressed her. So can I just pick it up? So they were like, yeah, that's fine. So I'm up on my way there now to collect it. Can you see me? I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, I cannot be bothered to get my tripod. So I'm just trying to, like, make this work. Um, so these are one of my glasses. And I don't know. Like, I was... I hate when you have to choose glasses in the store. Because, one, everyone looks at you and you'll choose your glasses frames. And, two, you kind of feel under pressure. Because you know you have to order them. And... Especially if you haven't got like a working pair of glasses like if I had a backup I would have probably gone to a different store, but I didn't so I was like I need to get a couple pairs I could but spec savers compared to like as the George I don't know if about vision express They charge for everything like anti glare all of that whereas I'm used to getting that all in the price that like the one price I didn't even plan to spend so much on my glasses because I found this website called Full Full Moo, and they sell glasses frames for like twenty five pounds, and you can get them with your prescription. And the great thing about it, and this isn't an ad, this is just what I found. Um, you can try the glasses on by taking a picture of yourself, and then it puts the frame to the picture. So it's really cool. Like it's really cool, and they have some really cute glasses. So I'm probably going to get a couple pairs on there. You can never have too much glasses when you wear glasses. <laughs> I'm going to have to get into what led me to this point, kind of doing this vlog backwards. I hope you guys don't mind. But basically, I'm on my way to a car dealership because I purchased a car in October last year. And since I've had the car, it's had to go back to the garage five times. There's been nothing but problems. Um, I originally bought an MG HS last year after having it ordered from 2020. Was it 2021 or 2022? I had to wait a year for my car basically and I just haven't fallen in love with it. It's just been issue after issue and then last week Friday I broke down and that was the last straw. Like a 72 plate car should not be breaking down six months after you get it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh guys. I am looking so rough because I literally just did the school run. I was like let me go treat my daughter to Burger King. I have broken down on the motorway like I have never in the history of me history of me driving broke down in my life I was like on 7% battery but something told me to take my charger so I took it and I was like thank god or I would have been fucked so I've been waiting like an hour and a half at this spot for the RAC to come and um, I said I'm done I said I'm done I'm handing the car back and I'm going with a fucking different brand. Don't ever go for a branded car that isn't a well-known. Because you just never... I, I ain't gonna lie. I had a Ford Cougar. It was huge. I loved it. I thought, let me downsize. Because me and my daughter don't need as much space. And I thought, oh, the MGHS is nice. It's affordable compared to other 4x4s. Nothing but problem. From the day I collected my car, I had a bad feeling. And, like, I had really horrible service by the, the manager at the customer service of Glen Hopkin. And I just knew. I just knew. And I think when you, whenever I have a white car, nothing but problems. I will not be getting a white car again. Um, I've just, I've been trying to ride it out because I didn't want to fork out for, you know, another car. I didn't want to fork out for another deposit. I didn't want to fork out for another option i just wanted to make do with this oh my god is that rac <gasps> oh right, i've got to go guys rac have just turned up i will be back so today i'm heading to nissan because right now i have the car and i like the car but i feel like i don't need such a big 4x4 so i'm gonna go to down to a small suv and i'm looking at the nissan juke and i'm not gonna lie this was my original choice before my MGHS, but there was such a long wait for the Nissan Duke, I put it off. And it's just so funny how I'm going right back to my first option. Okay guys, I'm back. 
guys i'm in the car currently just on my way to nissan um it is such a wonderful beautiful day it's six degrees but it's starting to actually warm up um i'm actually wearing <laughs> one of my new pairs of glasses i was wearing a different pair this morning these are the other big frames i think they're just a little bit more sleeker than the other ones okay guys so i am back in the car i am so happy that i went and followed my gut i actually got to test drive the duke and it was so nice like the seating position was better than my car that i'm driving right now the handling was lovely the, the drive it, everything was just better guys like who am i becoming like i'm becoming a, oh snap i'm becoming like a real responsible bitch like i really it's such a beautiful day everything in my being is telling me to go lakeside and have a little treat i could have gone to romford because i was in romford but i was like everything's just telling me go home film a haul and sit your ass at home and i think it's saying that because i'm not supposed to be spending money i'm saving but i just i don't know the weather's nice like this you just want to go and splash and because i had such a good day with my car um it's just put me in a really good mood like y'all don't understand like I, i've never felt how i felt about a car like this car and um just to know the end is near it's a very sweet sweet feeling tomorrow is my aunt's birthday and she lives in north london and i'm thinking to surprise her and bring her a bunch of flowers and like i don't know just a bunch of flowers and like i don't know like go and see her i'm gonna take you with me tomorrow to surprise my aunt but basically i am i spoke to her son and he's not got anything planned because she's going to mexico next month he's just giving her some money so i was like okay it's her 60th my aunt is a carer just like myself and she's the most selfless person i know and i call her like my aunt but she's really like my mum because i didn't grow up with my mum and she was she played that role for me like with getting bras with counseling with just just the only support system i actually have so i was like i can't make if it was any other birthday okay but 60th you have to go a bit above and beyond so <laughs> i'm ordering her a cake now now she is a very she's very different to me she's a health kick person so i'm ordering egg naked cake it's called and it looks really nice and then it's just going to have happy 60th from the start on the top i'm going to surprise her and take her out for lunch at westfields tomorrow so i'm planning and praying and hoping she hasn't made plans or going to the gym because i'm literally trying to aim to get to her for 9 a.m 9 30 hey guys so i'm back in the car i feel like every time i come to you guys i have a new update <coughs> my hay fever today i'm sorry if i cough my throat is just really dry so the plan was to go to my aunt's tomorrow and surprise her on the train but she told me she has a door uh, appointment at the hospital for her daughter in the afternoon and even though it's four o'clock she's probably going to leave out an hour or two beforehand so i was like i don't want to take her out and then she's rushing around for the appointment in the afternoon because it's just not easy it's just stressful when it's like that so i was like okay i know she's gone to westfield right now because she told me and i know that her daughter's getting back from college at four so i know she'll be in from four o'clock today so what i said i was going to do i spoke to her son and i was like look i'm going to drive down to see your mum today and drop off a cake and flowers you're more than welcome to come round obviously it's his mum's house but i was like you're more than welcome to be there if you don't want to you don't have to but i just thought i want to do something nice for her 60th and i can't do it on her birthday so let's do it today and the world's worst vlogger goes to <laughs> guys first off i'm driving through the hood so if i drive stop start a bit erratic it is just the hood and i'm in stratford actually i'm actually heading home but the a12 was just chock a block so i took a diversion um i had such a wonderful evening today 
I had such a good time seeing my aunt. I didn't want to pick up the camera because she's very camera shy and she was in shock because it was a surprise. And I know it meant a lot to her. So I know she's going to have an amazing birthday now. And then tomorrow we'll just spend majority of the time on the phone. <laughs> it's so weird because when I was pregnant with you, do you know we lived down here? We lived a couple roads from here. So it's so weird because like I was from I'm from Islington originally and I haven't been back in years just because like if me and my aunt link up we'll go and meet in Westfield. So like to go back down to Islington it was just like oh, I miss it and like it's so different now. Even Hackney, like it's so different and I just oh I I, I don't miss it as in like want to live down there again because I ain't gonna lie it's so busy compared to where I live now like I don't like the whole busyness of it but I love the way aesthetically it looks that you know you don't have to drive in North London because everything is literally in front of you and that's the thing I like even driving through Stratford now like it has changed so much since I lived around here um my dad still lives funny enough like for a skate but like Stratford, I lived here for a good three years when I was like pregnant and my daughter was younger. And this was when I was living like in like a mother baby kind of hostel sort of situation. But it was a flat, it was like a shared flat and I had downstairs. And uh, today just happened to be such an amazing day. I just feel very blessed and I feel very grateful. And it is a bit like coming full circle for me. like going to North London, coming back through Stratford, just seeing where I've come from to where I've ended up. It's so crazy how life just does, it, it sometimes just goes full circle. And like even today, like having an amazing day in general with just, you know, ordering my car and finally releasing myself from the stress of this car. And then just going to see my aunt and she still lives in North London, so driving down there, and honestly, North London was my happy place, like, before depression, before stress, like, I loved Islington, so to go and um, drive through it, it was just so nice and nostalgic, and then even, like, Stratford now, uh, the house that I lived in when I was pregnant with Asia, and the first three years of her life and you know I'm gonna be honest guys I had I was pregnant at 19 I lived with my dad from like 12 to 18 um because that's when my parents broke up and when I was pregnant the day I found out I was chucked out and luckily my nanny who lived who she's passed now but she lived in North London allowed me to stay with her and as I say, like, Stratford was the first house I had that was mine. Um, it was shared. It was just me and this girl. But it was just the first time I lived on my own. So it always is very dear to my heart. Um, it was a very isolating, lonely time. But I also grew, grew tremendously. And, like, as I say, like, <coughs> I always come back to the hood anyway. But I never go deep, deep or go westward unless I have a purpose. And I don't, I rarely drive to North London because what? one, it's all 20 miles per hour. And two, it's so pretty, you might as well walk or take a public transport because you get to enjoy it. So I don't tend to go and I don't tend to visit North London a lot, which I don't know why I don't. I just, I tell you, when you get a car, you become so lazy and everything's about convenience. And that's my whole thing this year. Like, I really want to push myself out of my comfort zones and, and branch out a bit more because I'm only limiting myself. Now, I didn't show any footage of my aunt. I didn't even film my aunt just because I just wanted to catch up and it was a short and sweet visit. Hey guys, so I was just editing the vlog and I realised I forgot to close it. So I'm going to end the vlog right here. Um, I'm really loving weekly vlogging and I hope you guys don't mind because I find it quite easy to do. Um, next week I will be doing a sit down for you guys for mental health slash motivational. I'm not sure, I was going to say Mondays, but I'm not sure what day I'm going to upload it. But stay tuned for that. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.